is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So in today's episode, we are back on the Twin Bago. I'm working on a custom grill, um, and then the last custom touch after the grill is going to be a visor, and then it is on to making this thing pretty, throwing some paint on it and whatnot. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We are on the grill today, although I have a ton of progress made. Why, you ask? Because my camera won't let me, or my computer won't read the files my camera wrote yesterday. So we're just gonna skip over all that fun stuff. Um, I had some time lapse and a bunch of cursing to get to where we are now. And then the thing we're working on at this point is the very center section, which is gonna swing open and articulate, should be on a hinge. But we gotta shorten things down so there's still plenty of struggle. You guys didn't miss a bunch, actually. We just forwarded to the fun part. So let me show you what the grill idea looks like and then we got some edging and some other stuff to do but let's take a look at this thing uh, i think you guys are gonna be stoked on it da -da -da, it's like darth vader dude we need some music of like the death starship or whatever check that dude out bam all right so in behind here this used to be white it used to come down and then this had a radius piece, and there was a panel in the center. Maybe I can post a picture of the old style grill. So what I'm trying to really go for is just a big rig style, all grill, no paint scenario. If I could make that chrome, I would, honestly. But anyway, uh, this is a steel, steel grill. It's made by a dude named Jerry. He came over, took some measurements, made this thing, Literally dropped it off here and it had been sitting here for a few days and I've been wrestling with it, trying to get it mounted up um, this weekend. So these, he left everything a little long and then just capped and just tack welded the edges on here so I could shorten and do with what I wanted. I don't think the length is an issue on these really. Um, and then the center section is down here and it is a bit long. It overlaps the edges on these. So I'm gonna stare at it, we'll make an executive decision, but. I think I'd like the door as short as possible, actually. So I think I'm gonna lead the length on these. That way there's less weight on the hinge. But yeah, that's what she looks like. I'm pretty stoked. If you're wondering about the gaps and you know maybe misalignment on this fun action, this is all gonna get capped. So I'll make caps that go on here and then we'll paint those body color to match. So that'll bring everything nice and uniform. And let's just be honest, this rig is not uniform. The standoffs I have to make are different sizes to get the grill to line up. Here versus here, this is a much larger standoff than this side. But that's just because the rig itself is a little, you know, it's a little cattywampus. It's made of you know, wood and it's been down the road for 14,000 miles or whatever on here and um, who knows. But that's caused issue because each little connection point is its own individual <laughs> island that has to be you know manicured um and it's, it's just been terrible it really made me fight it yesterday i thought i could just zip through it but this is the meat and potatoes in my honest opinion this is the hard part i uh, will have to get things to you know hold everything back in place where they go and whatnot because we're obviously missing <laughs> some structure that i cut out but let's get to swinging the door we'll put that bad boy on here i think i'm gonna have it open this way so I figure if I was ever broke down, um, obviously your traffic is gonna be on this side of the vehicle. So I don't want it to swing this way because that would put me further out here, right? If I had cars coming. So I'm gonna swing it this way. That way you exit the vehicle off of the road. If I had to get in here and look at stuff for any reason, I'm a little safer. So we're gonna swing it that way, cut things down. I'll bring you back when we have a tentative idea. And then when this is all done, it goes, uh, gets taken off. It's all gonna go to chrome. And this is gonna be one stylish grill. Although I would really like to do like a Twinnebago script or something. I'm gonna have to find out if I can get that cut in time before it goes to chrome. Cause I think that'd be bitching. Maybe like over here, if it just said Twinnebago or like an Uncle Gus somewhere like in the corner or something and get that chromed along with it. Ooh, maybe like Twinnebago in here. I don't know, maybe we'll mock that up. But let's quit daydreaming, get to working. Let's get hot. One more quick thing I'd like to do is I bought this dude. This is a Harbor Freight like 3000 watt generator. I've got it hooked up to shore power. I messed with this last week and 
Very happy to report that the AC blows nice and cold. The lights, everything seems to function properly in here. But what I actually haven't done, and we can do today, because I have some time, is, see, I'll show you. Ooh, look at this. So I got a light switch right here too. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then you can control that from here. And then like these dudes, all that stuff. This is on a separate plug. I just keep it unplugged, but that's the plug right there for that. So this dude works. Haven't made popcorn yet though. Anyway, this works. Everything seems to function uh, for the most part. And this dude turns on, but I didn't let it get cold. So I think what I'm gonna do is we will see if we can get this dude to work. I can put some cold drinks in here because it's gonna be hot today. Maybe we can come back and have a cool drink at some point, so. It's already cool in here, but I think that's just from the whatever. So anyway, let's do that. Let me uh, see if this dude will kind of kind of chill out. Let me go throw a cold drink in here. That way, if it works, I'm gonna be super stoked. Bathroom lights. I might as well show you guys. Like all this stuff, it's rad. Bam. So still got to replace this boy. But all in all. Everything is super sweet. And then this is the panel. I had it open. Uh, pulled the old generator power out. So what I'm gonna do is put that generator in place the old one and just run it off the shore power cord. So if I have shore power, you just plug it into that. If I not, I'll just plug it in the generator. Life is simple. I'll keep you guys along for the ride. So I wanted to show you this. This is just mild steel tubing, little sheet metal cap. And then he just tacked it in a couple spots and then these are all tacked some like eighth inch steel just to hold everything in place so that's kind of how this thing's made pretty straightforward looks very neat um, he left length here is what I was told and that's why there's only one little tack on just one and one so that way I can fudge this um, to what I need so what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna ow, just grind these little tacks off on both sides and then I've got my measurement and then we're just gonna make a straight line and then cut these dudes and the nice thing about a cap is even if you wiggle a little bit this piece is straight um, and then I'm hoping to attach I've got a piano hinge to one side of this to get it to articulate so the hinge will go between this end cap and this end cap so when we get it cut down we'll have to stick this on a little bit better and then I, I'll probably rivet um, the piano hinge so they could take it off for plating and then I can just rivet it back together before final assembly, so Okay, so we got this clamped on Tentatively lined up. Maybe we can go that way a little more With it. Let's try that real quick Yeah, it's pretty close. Let me mess with it I would say, you know, if you look at this line here, the peak. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Anyways, it's funny because you can see like the angle on how things are kind of out like a little bit, but we're not doing a regular winter, right boys? We're just doing something. So I think that's good. I think we'll mark it and cut it and cap it. So. What I can do is I can mark this with a straight edge and then we'll cap the end here and then same with this. And then this should fit right in between and then we'll just have to figure out which side. Like I said, we'll attach it to this side with some piano hinge that I got. So I think that's what it's gonna look like. This thing's gonna be rad. All right, so I don't make the rest of this video with the generator running in the background because I know you guys probably love that. Let's check this boy out. Eh, I don't think it worked. I don't think it's working. It feels cool, but it's not cold. Uh, I guess you could have read directions. You can hear it go under load. Okay, well, I mean, it seems kind of cool in there. Well, it's cold, it's frosty. Huh. 
this section just doesn't seem that good. So, I don't know. We'll have to look into it. Maybe I did stuff wrong. But it turns on, you can hear a load. And like I said, in here, in here feels pretty good. So, I don't know if you can see my fingerprints. So, huh. Yeah, the icebox seems, maybe the icebox is working. Fridge just didn't want to get frosty, so I don't know. But, it's time for this. This thing is not that cold. Ooh, maybe we'll just put it in here. It's just kind of frosty in there, huh? There, we'll just hide that in there for now. And I'll go turn off the generator and then show you we cut the grill down and it fits in between. So I'll kind of show you, tack it up and then uh, we'll get the hinge going on. Here's your grill, let's turn this off. All right, my little buddy, check this thing out. The eco mode, this thing's rad. Okay, so here is our mess of stuff. This is up, so this is the side we're gonna hinge. And then I just set these on there, I just cut it down. And then we'll get kind of a measurement on this. I wanna kind of tack it, make sure it fits. And then I need room for a hinge on this side and then it has to be able to swing on that side. So this is the hinge I'm using. Piano hinge, we got about an eighth inch excess. And it's gonna offset this, so. Let me mess with that and I'll bring you back when we make some more progress, but it looks pretty good. Although I didn't really account for the bars here and here, like on the rendering, it was just all grill. So unless I made like a piece, I guess we could take these off and then make a section where you could bolt it off and on, but I, I just want to be able to swing it open so we can show people. Like I don't want to really dick around that much. I think having the two bars and having it swing uh, is fine. All right, here we go. Check this bad boy out. Hell yeah. Look at that, boys. We did it. So I got a piece of wire tie. And then it sags a little because it's on a hinge. So we can bring it up just a little bit to get that gap all evened up. And I left a little gap here. That way when you're going down the road, the chrome's not rubbing, you know, rubbing itself to death. And then again, when I make... Whatever latch we make, I'll have it kind of pick it up and hold it in place. So that way it's held by the hinge and then held by a decent latch on this side. So that being said, I put this little guy just so we can take a look at it. Swings out. Huh? We got access and then if I want to swing it all the way back, we just hit it there. Get like a little Velcro strap or something to capture it so everybody can see the goods that are down inside. So that is that it is freaking hot i've been out here for it, it took me way too long to fit this thing i'll be honest with you guys uh i'm pretty burnt out so i don't want to work on the trim piece or latch or any of that stuff i just want to take a little r and r i got a busy week coming up this week and then it's right back into more twin tobago stuff i think next weekend so uh the car's not going to make it out next weekend i didn't have a chance to even look at the engine or any of that stuff and then i'm not killing myself this week it's supposed to be like a hundred and I'm doing bodywork sanding every day, so there's, it's just not worth it for me at this point to try to rush and get things done. We'll just do what we can. So, happy with this. We'll finish it up. We'll make the trim pieces, all that stuff. Hopefully send this off to Chrome next week. We'll show you guys when it comes back. It's gonna be sexy as all get out. Next on the agenda is to get the Predator mounted in the back of the Twinnebago. That covers electric. That covers a custom grill. Once we get these trim pieces and all that stuff lined out, It'll be on to the visor. And then I gotta start stripping stuff down for paint. And then I gotta figure out the water tank situation. So uh, I haven't even looked into it. I think I'm just gonna pull the old one out, trash it, put a brand new water tank and pump and all that stuff in there. So we still have that to go. But for the most part, I wanna start getting on the ugly on the outside and get this thing wrapped up because I can do last minute plumbing stuff and all that um, as we go. So it's getting close. My vision is getting there and uh, I'm pretty excited. A little burned out, but once this thing is done, it's done, and then I get to enjoy the fruits of my labor, bring it out, show you guys, take it places, take the family places. Uh, I really can't wait, especially with all the hard work and effort uh, that's been put in so far. So other than that, I need a horn too. I don't have a horn, and I don't want to really do a train horn. Nobody says that, but I'll get something 
kind of classy. We'll, we'll get something that it's got to make noise though. I can't have a little baby horn. It's got to be something. Maybe we can do two. Maybe we can do like a little one where it's like beep beep with it on a separate button, which would be funny. And then we'll get a good one in here. But that's it, man. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. I am out.